Uh, I'm going to hit the old recording button on the thing because I forget to do that sometimes. Actually, before uh, be- before we start the real thing, hold on. Let me open another beer. Oh, Jesus. Dude, like I already hit the button. Oh, that's fine. Now, this, this is actually part of the episode. It's not just pre-show for patrons. It's actually part of the episode. Oh, well, that's your fault. Well, no. <laughs> All right. It's definitely your fault, and I'm definitely keeping it in. This week on the Ritual Misery podcast, uh, Kent said farewell to a friend. Uh, Amos went mega shopping? Hell yeah. Um, I've been watching some beard videos. Uh, And uh, Star Wars is a thing next week. It is. It is. And hopefully not a whole lot of use for 988, the new suicide prevention line. Um, All that and more. But we have... What was it, Kent? What was it? It was the woman formerly known as the girl known <laughs> as she who shall not be named. That That's accurate. Yeah. Uh, but, <laughs> but that's not the case anymore. We have Vanessa Hagen with us tonight. How are you? I'm fantastic. All right. So let's get this show started then. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Ritual Misery Podcast, episode 236 for Thursday, the 12th of December, 2019. This is the show where two lifelong friends and their guests celebrate all things geek. I'm Amos, that's Kent. We don't matter because we have a guest. Vanessa, how are you? I am live and well in Indianapolis. (laughs) In Indianapolis. Uh, Almost, well, the home state for me and Kent, not necessarily our hometown, but um, Kent, how you been this week, man? Are you excited to be here? Is this Thursday? Are you happy? I'm super happy. Thursdays are, are the best days, for sure. Um, um, yeah, it's been a hell of a week. Super hectic. Uh, lots going on at work and otherwise. And um, But it, none of that matters because it's Thursday. It's RMP. I, and we have guest, Vanessa. I can actually say the same thing. This has been one hell of a hectic week. And, and I don't even have a full-time job. So that's <laughs> like my full-time job is just not being employed. But that's beside the yep. point. Um so those who don't know, uh, we have Vanessa on tonight. She is one of the admins for the Ridiculous Memes, memes Inc. page, uh, a page that I subscribe to that I find many, many humorous uh, memes and other laughs from. And uh, I, I don't even know how I got, I think maybe Kent shared something and I saw it and I jumped in there from there, but I, I don't know. Either way, it's a great it's a great page and a link in the show notes if you want to go become a member. Basically, you can't be offended. If you're offended, then get the fuck out. Um <laughs> Uh, but it's, it's a lot of good stuff, and we thought, you know what? It's been a long time since we reached out to Vanessa, and this would be a great chance to bring her on the show, talk about uh, organizing and uh, being an admin on a popular uh, Facebook group, and then just overall catch up. Yeah, yeah. hell yeah. We've, we've known Vanessa for well over half our lives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, she uh, she used to live in the tiny town of Oxford that we talked about just a couple weeks ago with Jeremy. Um, yep, we used to what a block away, I think we lived from each other. Yes. Well, from, yeah. Oxford blocks yeah. are funny though because some of them are like this big and some of them are like this big. So <laughs> either way, the town's only this big. <laughs> it's a mile and a half wide by a mile high, tall, wide, thin, whatever. Um, very small town. And we all enjoyed the streets of Oxford, Indiana on a regular basis because we all walked them a lot. That's true. Yeah, that was the preferred method of, of transportation was uh, bipedal. <laughs> there was no other choice. Yeah, Shoe Leather <laughs> Express. <laughs> Um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, but that, that's all, all all fun and games. Uh, once the street lights go off, it's a sign. Whatever sign you want it to be, that's the sign it is. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, hey, dude, uh, th- this is the week after Thanksgiving, so we did our mega shopping. We it's actually two weeks. It's kind of a little late, but we did our mega shopping spree this week, where we go to Walmart and use my sister in law's twenty five percent discount on off of everything, and buy all of our all of our stuff for the entire year. Like all of our shampoos, soap, uh, deodorant, all that kind of, all the, the basic necessity stuff. We buy all that. This year's it came out, we broke the machine twice. Uh, the first time we hit $3,000 and the machine was like, can't do it. 
shit. Um, and then we did it again. It only came out to like twenty one hundred dollars, and I was like, well, I don't know where that messed up, but I like the second answer better, and it still broke. So we still had to figure it out from there. Uh, did you know there's a limit on the number of items you can put on a single receipt at Walmart? No. <laughs> what the <laughs> hell is happening right now? <laughs> Yeah, uh, they'll be scanning and eventually be like, no, no more items. Mm. Like, you've hit your Walmart limit. <laughs> Vanessa, do you do you do Black Friday shopping or any, like, massive shopping spree type things? No, 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 no. I, myself, have worked way too many years in retail to ever <laughs> step foot in the store during Black Friday. <laughs> nope. No, thank yeah. you. <laughs> I'm, I am with you on that. I do not leave the house on Black Friday. No, it's kind of a mission to not leave the <laughs> house on Black Friday. Like, and be like, we're out of milk. Better pour some water on that shit. I'm not leaving the house. <laughs> <laughs> I might go to the gas station and pick up a jug of milk, but uh, that's about as far as I would go. I don't. I, I don't. I don't drink gas station milk, so. <laughs> Is that like gas station chicken? Yeah, yeah. Like it gives you the runs? You you have one bad experience with fresh <laughs> produce from a gas station and you never eat their produce again from any gas station. That's how that that's how that works. Oh man. Um uh but yeah, I did all that and one of the big things for me was so I just started growing this damn beard. Because mm. my wife said this st- I'm not, I refuse to shave now that I'm not in the military. I refuse to shave. Um and my wife said, the stubble hurts when I kiss her. Okay, cool. So it's either shave it off or let it grow. And I was like, well, <laughs> the choice there is to let it grow. So I'm growing it. And as I am beginning to realize, you got to like kind of take care of your beard. There's like, right? There's like product for beards. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yes. I had so, to, I had to so purchase all like- the product for my beard. So you and Chris from Have a Drink kind of switched places because uh, he was known for his glorious, glorious beard. He had like and, a Captain Morgan beard. It was like yeah. massive. Like and, it was, and he just shaved it off a couple of weeks ago, like yeah. to the point where like it freaks me out to look at him now. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know what was, what was creepier about that. The fact that he didn't have the hair on his face or the fact that he had a definite chest hair line where he stopped shaving his beard. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, um, yeah. Uh, but he's growing his beard back, so it's all good. Yeah, 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 yeah. He'll, he'll yeah pass thank me God. <laughs> yeah. Um, so. man. So uh, one of my coworkers uh, left this week. Um, Tuesday night, we said farewell. Yeah. To, he's uh, moving to Okinawa, Japan, which uh, Amos and I know a lot about. We used to live there. Yep. Um, which good for him. It's a good career move. It's a good family move for him, but it kind of sucks for my work center. And um, it always sucks uh, saying goodbye to somebody that you care about. Um, I've been working with him for a couple of years and we, we got kind of close and uh, um, yeah, so that was a little bit sad. And um, part of what we did that night uh, involved alcoholic beverages and I had a bunch of them. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and then you showed up in discord getting me and curtis all emotional about how you love us it's okay it's okay dude it's yeah, the weird it's thing it, it, that that happens man i i i get in my feels sometimes um because i care about people and well, it's because the feels are at the bottom of the cup so when you get in the cups eventually right. you find the feels <laughs> True. exactly True. exactly and uh so anyway so tuesday was a little bit of an emotional roller coaster for me and um uh, something that, that I kind of wanted to point out to people, because we talk about from time to time, we'll talk about depression and, and reaching out to people you care about and things like that on this show. And uh, a news article hit wait, 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 today. Wait, wait, wait. I got to I gotta do the ob- obligatory. Oh, right. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, but, uh, Some of our depressions are medicated. A news article hit today that I thought was really good, and I wanted to tie it into um, uh, talking about here now not that i had thoughts of suicide so don't anybody get get the wrong idea here I, I wasn't in trouble this week um but a lot of the emotions that i was experiencing this week can lead to uh getting into emotional trouble um so something happened today that i think is is monumental and important for for us at least here in this country uh the fcc voted on a resolution that would create a a three digit number for the suicide prevention hotline because right now it's a it's this long number it's hard to memorize nobody knows what the hell it is um, but nine eight eight 
is going to be uh, the suicide prevention hotline. Um, it's going to take some time for it to get implemented. Like they they're talking about giving as much as possibly eighteen months uh, to all of the carriers to update their systems. So it'll work just like nine one one, but it'll mm. be nine eight, um, which I think is awesome because when you when you're in trouble, um, like you don't have you're not going to look up a stupid number and try to figure it out. You're going to just but if if it's ingrained in our brains nine eight eight. Just like nine one one is when there's an emergency, then it's gonna be it's gonna be great, and I think it's gonna help a lot of people, and I I think that's an important thing. It's probably the best thing that the FCC has done in quite some time, <laughs> 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 at least under the recent administrations. Um, yeah, it's that that's awesome. It ties right into the streamathon, which if you don't know, the streamathon is a twenty seven hour live stream where we and some of our Diamond Club friends stay in chat room. Well. Not the entire time, but there's at least a live chat room of people to hang out with on New Year's Eve. If you don't have friends and family to spend New Year's Eve with, you do not have to spend it alone. Come join us on twitch.tv slash DC Streamathon. Uh, if you're celebrating New Year's Eve anywhere in the world, we will be there live and we can celebrate with you. We'll be counting down. All the uh, Maybe a couple won't get counted down, but... It's just Eastern Coast, so that doesn't really matter, does it? Um, and uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll count them down one way or another. Yeah. Almost every single one will be celebrated live by the uh, by the stream. <clears throat> yep. So um, this is something we've always done, and we do this to raise money for charity. We're raising money for Extra Life this year, which uh, provides funds to the Children's Miracle Network. And it's uh, it's kind of our, our thing every year. This is our fifth year in a row of doing it, and it's amazing. So feel free to stop and by on New Year's Eve. And if you need more details on that, just go to uh, dcstreamathon.org. Yep, and that will be updated with all of the uh, the, the new schedule and a bunch of links uh, directly to like how to donate and all that kind of stuff. That'll if it's not updated by the time you hear this, it will be very shortly. Um, also, we'll have a we'll have a We'll have more on this toward the end of this. So, so it becomes a race. Am I going to get the show po- posted before Kent gets the site updated? I don't know. That, that's yeah. that's probably even odds on that. I'd. <laughs> Vanessa, what is what is your New Year's Eve tradition? What do you what do you end up doing usually? I don't know that I really have a New Year's tradition. Um, sometimes I go out. Sometimes I don't. I hang out with my kids mostly. Mm-hmm. anymore mm-hmm. they're they're older now so <laughs> i kind of can so they're fun yeah <laughs> <laughs> they don't shit themselves yeah. all the time. well i don't know that that could be um uh, well, hey, no king shaming can't no king shaming <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um great. all right well uh now would be a good time because we kent and i both have tickets in hand for I literally have them like in my wallet because my local theater doesn't do Fandango for Rise of Skywalker next Thursday. We're both watching the six o'clock showing. Uh, Squid is also watching the six o'clock showing. However, all those six o'clock showings are local time. So we have Mountain Time for Kent, Pacific Time for Squid, and Alaska Time for me. So our show next week won't be until about 10 p.m. Pacific Time because we're going to be watching Skywalker. Um <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it's it's a it's a late one for us, but we wanted to still do a show. But seriously, we're not going to skip Skywalker. That's that's just that's yeah. not going to happen. So and the crazy thing is, I just looked at the uh, the ticket app for me because we're not on Fandango either. Yeah, uh, we've got like a proprietary app or whatever, and half the theater is still empty. <laughs> like, what is like? How is that a thing? That just tells you what kind of town I live in. There's there's well, we have two showings here locally in Wasilla and both theaters are about two thirds full or both showings or for the first showing. Um, wow. Bad Weave in chat says, will we get hot takes in the show? Yes, that is, that is going to be what we do. It's going to be very spoilerific. It's not going to be a normal episode of RMP. It's no. going to be Star Wars spoiler show. So yep. if you don't want to be spoiled. Don't watch it. <laughs> and they will be a little hotter for me because Kent will have a two hour two hour grace period. Squid will have an hour off. I'm gonna be coming straight from the theater and starting the show. So um yeah, we'll see we'll see how that goes. But uh, that's the plan for next Thursday. However, um we still have some business to take care of because we really haven't even started playing this game yet that we play called the Diamond Club Stream Team <laughs> Movie Draft. 
I wonder what Big Boys Jay has to say about that. Welcome to your Blue League Movie Draft Minute, presented by DiamondClub.tv, for the week of December 11th, 2019. I'm your host, Big Voice Jay. Hey, Diamond Club's getting together to ring in the new year, all around the world. Join us at twitch.tv slash dcstreamathon. Let's go to the scoreboard. Team RMP's in last place with $6.5 million. Team Gal falls to fifth place with $79.6 million. Team Snowshoe falls to fourth place with $157.2 million. Team Geek Grills is in third place with $260. $2.8 million. Team Have a Drink jumps to second place thanks to $757,000 from Playmobil the Movie, bringing their total to $406.2 million. And in first place, with $590.8 million, it's Team DKG. That's your Stream Team Movie Draft Minute. For up to date listings, follow Stream Team Draft on Twitter. Playmobil hit $750,000, the lowest grossing opening weekend. In history, for any show, any movie opening on 2,000 or more screens. Yeah. Horrible. I called this. Yeah. I've been calling this since the beginning. Yeah. Uh, Vanessa, have you heard of the movie Playmobil? I have not. There we go. <laughs> exactly. That's the point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They thought they not were going to the, the Lego, the movie coattails. It's... Um, the problem is nobody gives a fuck about Playmobil. So... <sighs> yeah, no, it's just a, it's bad, it's bad. But I mean, it still launched him into second place currently until we come in uh, this this next weekend and blow him away with Star Wars. Just saying, yeah. a lot yeah. of eggs in that basket there, Kent. Um, hey, if you would like to continue to support the show and make us go see more movies so that we can actually afford it, you can cruise on over to patreoncom slash misery And uh, if you give a fuck about the show, just give a buck to the show and call it a day. Yeah, you can get pre-shows, post-shows, uh, exclusive interviews, all kinds of stuff over there. Uh, check it, check us out. We've we got a new, a new uh, uh, patri- pay, yeah, patron payment scheme or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, not a scheme. That makes it sound like we're like scheming. <laughs> um, I mean, but anyway, we, no, it's it's better if you if you've been there before. It's better now. It's yeah. great. Also, um, we yeah. uh, we finally have the appropriate patrons in the proper gl- group. So the Excluvians, which are the ten dollars or more each month, actually uh, got a two hour uh, pre uh, recorded episode of just me and Kent shooting the shit, talking about all kinds of things. Um, recorded a while ago, but it finally came out, and only the ten dollar and more patrons get it. So, and and we re- actually received feedback from a patron at that level on that episode uh yeah. just a couple days ago and um it was a glowing review so <laughs> i'm um he I'm said quit the show and just do this and we're like nah that that's that we can't do that we've been doing this for five years we can't do that <laughs> <laughs> yeah so check it out patreon.com slash ritual misery all right uh i can't is it, about, is it about that time it is can i please have your attention in the last 30 minutes kids done something now you've got a guess he was very <laughs> excited Kent? Games. Play with them. The best part about this is Vanessa has no shit, no idea what's going on, and she's just along for the ride. And every time something new happens, every time we play one of our little morning zoo stingers, she's like, "What the fuck is this? Oh, okay, that was that wasn't very long." And then another one comes along. She's wait, wait. Oh, okay, no, that's all right. We're we're still safe. Okay, Kent, what's our game this week? Our game this week is called Bent on Reviews. Oh, so if you guys remember, <laughs> our hometown newspaper was called the Bitten Review. <laughs> oh, Bitten <on> Review. <laughs> and hold on, let me cover up my uh, my address here so I don't dox myself. Um, but here is the current issue of the Bitten Review. <laughs> Kent still receives the Bitten Review in the mail, and then not too long ago he mailed me something, and he used the Bitten Review <laughs> as his padding. The the uh, oh, yeah nice. packing. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, so Benton review. All right. Give us. Uh, give it. Give us the deets on this, man. All right. Uh, so I went through this week's issue of the newspaper and just picked out some some questions from it. And you guys are going to to answer questions about this week's issue. It's actually it's the it's the twenty seventh of November issue of uh, of the Benton review. So I'm going to ask you questions and then. Um, We'll see 
Uh, what you know? <laughs> You'll see what we don't, don't know. know. Yeah, Vanessa, <laughs> would you like to go first or second? Uh, it's guest choice. So, Vanessa, would you like to go first or second? Let's go first. Oh shit! <laughs> right. Vanessa, and remember, these are all from the current issue. Okay. What is the most, <laughs> what is the most common violation I- in the jail log? Is it probation? Domestic battery, drugs, or DUI? The oh. most common violation in this week's jail log. That's pretty tough. I and mean, we're talking about Benton County. Mm-hmm. All of those are right up the alley. Yeah. Like half the county is on county. probation. <laughs> yep. all, I would say probation these... violation, but can I phone a friend? I still got friends there. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, so every one of these were in the jail log this week, uh, but you said probation. And you would be correct. Yeah. <laughs> but like I said, half the probation. county's on probation. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Amos. I might still be on probation in Benton County. <laughs> <laughs> I was never arrested in Benton County. So <laughs> uh, I wasn't arrested, but I was escorted home a few times. Yeah. I've been detained. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, the ne- next question. This one's for you, Amos. Mm-hmm. The weekly humor column is by which writer? Is it Wolf Dixie, Dick Wolfsey, Dick Wolf, or Wolf Dick? <laughs> <laughs> Wolf Dixie. You're going to say Wolf. Dixie. It is Dick Wolfsey. Uh, uh, <laughs> His name is Dick Wolfsey. He's actually a really so good glad writer. I went first. <laughs> Got out to Dick Wolfsey. Uh, <laughs> all right. Vanessa, are there more ads for businesses or churches? County Review. Um, I mean, I would say churches, but there's only like five churches. Yeah. But then I'm still they, gonna go with yeah. They they do have all the money though. <laughs> it's I mean, probably all like self owned, family owned type businesses. Mm. Okay, so are you going with businesses? I'm going with businesses. Final answer. Good job. <laughs> She's doing good at this. This the score is now two to nothing. I know. You're getting owned over here, Amos. That's. I mean, I'm used to it. So. <laughs> All right. Your next one, Amos. Which game takes up more space, the crossword or the word search? Crossword. You're going with crossword. Yeah. It was the crossword this week. I got one. <laughs> Not always the case. <laughs> I was th- well, I was thinking Benton County, the clues have got to be long. <laughs> All right, moving on. Uh, Vanessa, the Benton Central wrestling team beat which school in their season opener? Lafayette Jeff, Kokomo, North White, or Seeger? Seeger. You're going with Seeger. Oh. It's actually North White. I never oh, heard of North I was White. I going to say that one, of course. Uh, yeah. That was my second. <laughs> it was my second choice. <laughs> All right, Amos. What was, what was the free movie at the Fowler Theater on the 7th of December? Wait, wait, you're burying the lead here, dude. The Fowler Theater is still open? It is. <laughs> it's been renovated, dude. Oh, wow. like, we went there to see Interview the Vampire, and we could have sworn that was one of the last <laughs> movies they were ever going to show there. <laughs> it's been renovated. It, it was so busy, they, they brought us up to the projector room to show us how the projector worked. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, if you remember, that was our second viewing of that movie. Yeah, because it was just me, you, and Pat, and we saw it originally in, in Tippy. 
Yep. And um, yeah, and it was Pat's first viewing. So he was he stayed down there when we went upstairs and, and checked out the, the ops. Yeah, he did his sullen contemplation thing. Yes, <laughs> as he was known to do. All right, um, Amos, your next question. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, wait, I already wait, started wait, that. That was the question, wasn't it? I will, yeah, I will. Uh, well, g- I give, will me, give me my choices for the free movie this week in the Fowler Theater. In the Fowler Theater, yes. Okay, so the choices are A Christmas Story, Ugh. Mickey's Christmas Carol, mm. The Polar Express, or The Santa Claus 3. I'm going to go with The Christmas Carol because it's the only one of those movies I actually liked. Uh, Chris, are you talking about A Christmas Story or Mickey's Christmas Carol? Uh, I thought they were slamming the two together and made it something good. Uh, I'm going to go with <laughs> the, uh, A Christmas Story. A Christmas Story. Yeah, you should try out. It was actually the Santa Polar Claus Express. 3. Oh. Ah, Claus 3, yeah. Yep, yep. Unfortunately. Yeah, yeah cuz I like if they were showing a Christmas story, like I might fly back there just to watch that at the Fowler Theater. That sounds good. No, you wouldn't. No, you're right. I wouldn't. It's <laughs> <laughs> not a chance. But if I was in Oxford, yeah. If time, you happen to be in Benton County when it was playing, you'd be like, "Yeah, how you doing? Shit, else we'll go see that." <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. All right, <clears throat> Vanessa, your next question: Which phrase was not used in the obituaries? Passed this life, went to the Lord, received the Master's call, or passed away. Which of those was not used? Instead of saying, like, Bob died, they said one of these phrases instead. Uh, but which one, which one of those was not used? I'm going to read them again. Passed this life, went to the Lord, received the master's call, or passed away. Which one was not used? I mean, two of them you cut out right away, right? This is like an Air Force answer. Two of them you cut out, cut out right away, and the other two are like, I don't know which one it is. Well, Receive and also only, the master's only three... call? Like, I don't know. So only three people died last week in Benton County, apparently. Um, the one that was not used was went to the Lord. Went to the Lord. Wow, I wouldn't have guessed that. I wouldn't have either. So <laughs> obviously, the reason, the reason I chose to, to the the reason that this one stuck out to me because one of the obituaries started with you know whatever whatever the the um, person's name was uh, received the master's call and I was like what the fuck is that I've never heard of that before I can make it to a question <laughs> that that sounds like some uh, <laughs> South Rise again bullshit um, what's my question Kent let's get this going. All right, so this is actually the final question. <clears throat> oh, short game. Yeah, we had eight quite. We usually have ten questions. Wait, 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 what's the current up. score? I think I'm we're sorry? tied up. No, it's right. actually two points, Vanessa, one point, Amos. Okay, so I got to get this to at least pass, but either way, we kind of didn't get the D. Right. All right, final <laughs> question. What's on the lunch menu at the Fowler IGA on Saturday? They serve lunch there? <laughs> Apparently. Oh, I'm not I'm not eating that either. That's like gas station shit. Like Is literally, it? don't they have a gas station at the Valor IGA? <laughs> they do. They yeah, do. see, I'm not eating it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your choices are lasagna, Ew. turkey Manhattan, fish, f- or bison wings. I'm totally going bison wings. Because that makes no goddamn sense. <laughs> You're saying bison wings. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, no. Um. Yes, it's totally bison wings. Obviously, the it's like buffalo wings, but um, the Benton <sighs> County uh, mascot is bison, so everything's bison. It'd be uh, much better if it was like lady bison thighs. So combine. <laughs> <laughs> so your combined score out of eight was four. So it's a fifty percent. So we didn't get the D. <laughs> Yeah, you fell short of the D. You, the two of you combined, did not get the D. Um, <laughs> that sounds about right. 
I mean, <laughs> typical. So the, goal, the goal of this game every week is to get the D. Or, <clears throat> well, at least get the D if you can't beat the D. Yeah. The goal is to beat the D, but that, that rarely happens, actually. <laughs> in in the show, anyway. Um, <laughs> uh, Bad Weave uh, suggests the show title, It's December, No D. Ooh, that, that could be very valid. I had to check last week's show to see if I got the D then. <laughs> the doubt we'll do a game next week. And then the last show of the year is Richard. So yeah, this could be the the December nineteen or twenty nineteen. Uh yes. All right. All right. Okay. So we have oh. Vanessa as our guest. Uh we as we said earlier, we've known Vanessa for a long time. Uh we're old friends from high school. Um uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For the <laughs> audio only listeners, um, um, Vanessa's face indicates that there may have been uh, <laughs> more to that story, but I mean, I don't know. The, okay, so, uh, all right, <laughs> so um, long ago, I, 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 so I, I dug a little something up. Um, oh no. <laughs> so oh, I'm going to uh, cut over to this real quick. Uh, this will be in the show notes for the audio listeners. Um. Oh. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, for the audio <laughs> listeners, there's a photograph that's labeled "Christmas in Paradise," December third, nineteen ninety four. I believe this was from a high school winter semi formal. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> At the high school, there is a yes. very childlike looking version of Amos uh, with his <laughs> arm around a very childlike looking Vanessa. <laughs> yes, I got in trouble for that because of where his hand was placed. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, resting there on the hip. Uh, uh-huh. <laughs> sure. Yeah, we'll go with hip. <laughs> uh, sounds good. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, yeah. Amazing. Amazing. So yeah, we've no, we've all known each other for a while. Yeah, mm-hmm. at least since ninety four. <laughs> right. <laughs> at least. <laughs> all right. That's the only embarrassing photo I have to dig up. So it's the only one I brought. Yeah, I don't have any photos available. <clears throat> uh, it's probably a good thing. Oh, W. Scottus one is in the chat room, and he says, "Wow, that photo." And Bad <laughs> Bad Weave says, "Amazing," which I can only assume refers to. Uh, the awesome photography of the Benton Central photographer at the time. Right. So, um, uh, all, all that being said, uh, Vanessa, you run a page. I don't know if you run it. Do you actually run it? Like, are you are you like uh, HBIC on on that page? You seem well, to be. You seem to be I the, am the most queen vocal. Bee, yes. Yeah. The so queen bee, the yeah. page, the page started because the boyfriend and I were sending lots of memes back and forth via text and we just needed a place to put them all because we had too many on our phone. So we started it, started with our friends individually and it's just grown from there. So Yeah. So it started yeah. out. It, so it's called ridiculous memes mm-hmm. and it started out at just as you said with, with just funny meme, uh, yeah. you know, pictures and sometimes an occasional video uh, but it was always just like haha stuff, um, right? But the page has kind of morphed into something different now. <laughs> Ken, Ken told me, uh, he, "What was it you said? It was a more of a thirsty page." Yeah, it's more. <laughs> there's more <laughs> thirst on there now than than <laughs> haha. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. <laughs> uh, and, and the thing that got me to say, "Hey, we should bring Vanessa on." You actually do like a little um, a video. With Ashton, your boyfriend, uh, uh, mm-hmm. reading anonymous letters to each uh, to other users on the forum or on the page. Yes, so that was a that was a member suggestion. Um, he had he was very shy, very anxious, and he didn't want to just outright say that he had crushes or felt certain kind of ways about different women in the, in the group. So he's like, maybe we could do an anonymous thing. He actually sent me the link. I was like, well, cool. So originally when we first started doing it, I would 
you know, post and blow up the page with these anonymous messages individually, tag each person. It was, it was insane. So we decided to just start reading them live and do it all at once instead of completely blocking the page up with them. Yeah. So it's been really fun. We, the boyfriend and I, we totally, we totally enjoy it. So it's a good time. It, it does seem that way. Um <laughs> Yeah, and the the following mm. has has like just blown up because you started this page what six months or so ago, in May. Yeah, May this year May, we yeah. started it. Yeah, so right around six months ago, half a year, and you like, what's your member count now? You're supposed to I ask that question while I still have the page up, Kent. Gosh, oh, my bad, my bad, we're my bad. A, but it's, it's about it's eleven hundred the- worldwide. We're worldwide. <laughs> yeah, which is crazy because it, it started just with with Ashton and you, and then you added a couple of friends, and then now it's yeah. this less than le- in less than a half a year, um, it has just blown up. Do you feel any kind of like um, pressure or responsibility for like um, I don't know m- moderating someone's online experience or uh, you know like th- that many people? I mean, yeah, they're the active ones. So generally most, and that's the kind of the really neat thing about the group with the 1100 members is that a good majority of them are actually still active or at least view the page. They may not be reacting to it or commenting on any of the memes, but they're at least in there actively. Mm -hmm. So they're stealing them, probably sharing them on other pages, but whatever we do too. Right. Right. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Um, but yeah, so we we try to come up with different games that we can play because, like you said, it has kind of mer- morphed into this more of a thirsty thing because that's what people want. Got to give the people what they want. So anyway, um, yeah, so we try to do different things. The, the lives is kind of a way that we make our group a little bit different than other groups, I think. So yeah, what, what kind of turnout do you get for for your live shows? Man, it varies. Um, it's been kind of going down a little bit um, as far as like people that actually, mo- a lot of people will actually join the live itself. And I mean, we've had like close to 30 or so that'll actually be there. It just depends on the time. But as far as views, it's usually well over 100 in the 200s once people can actually get around and have the time to watch it. Yeah, so we've been doing Ritual Misery for about six years, and um, you have managed to garner a way larger audience on a regular basis than we have at that time. Well. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, That's just what happens, though. We have a very small but very close and fun community. Oh, wait, that's the same thing you have. Okay, never mind. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, the people kind of change out quite a bit as we get. That's that's why I'm constantly recruiting from other pages. It's kind of skeevy because I I will go and start a meme war on another page, mm. and then I'll just like spam that whole string <laughs> with our link. <laughs> like, come check out my sexy meme group. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> works every time that's awesome <laughs> I, I like it even more now that i know there's like a a shady underbelly side of it <laughs> <laughs> there is <laughs> um I've, I've noticed that there's like uh intermittently there's been issues with people getting banned for um for sharing inappropriate content how much yes. of that is like moderated by you and your fellow moderators like how often do you block content versus like facebook blocking content i mean facebook will block immediately um and and we'll just get a notification they won't even give us the ability to or the opportunity to correct the situation before they give us a flag so a lot of a lot of times I will go recruit just so I could boost my numbers to offset how many flags we have. Oh my god! Um, yeah, but I have I have a a pretty good sized about I think eight admins for the group, as well as at least ten moderators for the group. So at any point there should be somebody in there kind of monitoring that con- uh, the content because. 
you can't keep up with it anymore. People are posting consistently and constantly throughout the day. So it's impossible to keep up with it now. Yeah. And especially when you, when you're dealing with topics of uh, sexuality and things like that, there's so much room for interpretation and also just people joining for the wrong reasons and posting the, you know, stuff that should be posted and, possibly even flagging stuff just because they don't agree with it when it's really innocuous in the overall scheme of things. Like, like I can imagine it's, it's not, it's not a fun aspect of it, but it's kind of necessary to have any thriving group with uh, willing to share risque things like that. Oh yeah. And, and that's one of my bigger things too, is I don't allow, I don't allow any kind of trolling or bullying in the group. So people feel comfortable in sharing their experiences, their likes and di- dislikes and all of that. So, yeah. Uh, Curtis LaRock has joined us in the chat. Thank you for joining Curtis. <clears throat> uh, he's, uh, he's an essential part of the streamathon, by the way. Uh, he is helping Kent out with the scheduling and the three of us had a really late night drinking beers the other night and holy crap did I catch hell in the morning. But anyway, uh, <laughs> I did too. I got yelled at that night for for uh, apparently I was yelling in here, and uh, I got told to <laughs> shut up. I'm trying to sleep <laughs> by the girlfriend or the son. <laughs> the, well, girlfriend. But apparently, oh, so I got yelled at actually the next day by this by my son because apparently I left Twitch open and um, it was playing a stream in the morning when he was not ready to get up yet. It was like, what the hell? Why is dad <laughs> in his office watching Twitch or YouTube or something? And, um, no, it was just my, mom. it's, it's uh, not the Twitch or the YouTube that you leave running that you need to worry about. I'm just going to leave that, <laughs> put that out there. It's yeah. That's when you yeah. go to bed and leave other stuff up and open and running. That's when it's a problem. <laughs> yeah. Um, I had something else. I was, I was see this. This is why. Look at me. Look at me right now, audience. So, look, look at so me. this while, is so why I, live is weird. That. I mean, we were talking about streamathon. I'm going to go ahead and run down some of the acts that we have uh, okay. lined up for the streamathon uh, massive 27 hour stream, uh, just to kind of whet everyone's appetite uh, before I get this actually published said, on a place that that you can go to. You said what? Uh, so of course we've got ritual misery in a couple of segments. Uh, we're going to open the, and close the show, and we might actually join a stream uh, later in the day. Uh, but we've got Big Voice Jick doing his show. If you've ever watched him on uh, Movie Party pre-show, um, he does an amazing, amazing show. Big Voice Jay, you'll recognize from the Movie Draft Minute segment. Um, uh, let's see, then we've got Rin Igu, who's going to be streaming a video game. Uh, we've got Fitch, Fitz and Max Trollbot doing their Conspiracy Trolls show. Uh, which is freaking amazing. I actually, I wouldn't mind. Uh, this would be that. fun. Uh, we've got Agent Sign, uh, who's going to be playing a video game. Uh, he's probably going to be doing Res Infinite. Uh, we've got Mark Jelinek doing a show. Um, you might remember him as a, a previous guest on Ritual Misery uh, from a, a few episodes, and uh, he used to do the show What Is It About the Weather. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not sure what his stream is going to be about. He's he's kicking around a couple different things, but whatever it is, it's going to be awesome because Mark is one of the, the best people <laughs> live. Uh, we've got Bad Weave doing a video game, possibly Twitch Sings. Uh, we've got The Gin and perhaps Curtis Larock uh, doing World of Warcraft. Uh, we've got um, Squid and Big Voice J doing Squid's Mixtape, which if you guys haven't caught that, shame on you because it's freaking awesome. Uh, where they uh, put together a, a, a playlist based on a theme and uh, they they run through it and it's it's a blast. It's awesome. <laughs> What's funny about that? <laughs> I, I was just thinking that maybe Squid and and uh, 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 Big Voice Jay could do one on uh, uh, relationship triangles or high school uh, high school uh, 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 relationships. That'd be that'd be really fun. That'd be really interesting. <laughs> or uh, like maybe best friends being pissed off each each other about things. Yeah, no, that'd be a good one too. 
Like, hey, uh, did you guys see that Lynette just joined the group? Yes, uh, actually, I, I did. I did not notice that. But uh, <laughs> un- unlike unlike our current guest, Lynette is not a girl that Kent and I fought over. So, <laughs> <laughs> or or should I say, a woman formerly known as a girl Kent, Kent and I fought over. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Let's get my terminology right. I'm an aspiring feminist. I know I'm not good enough for it yet, but I'm working on it. Interestingly, <laughs> Lynette married just recently married my old roommate from um from the air force from like 20 years ago what yeah yeah um really yes that that, that finally came through to fruition it it did oh my god he had (laughs) such a fucking crush on hers like he was he was hard bad like crushing on her yeah it was, it was pretty wild. But hey, let me finish this rundown real quick. We've only got a few more things to go through. But the next one's a big one. This is Scott Johnson and Tom <clears throat> Merritt will be joining us for an episode of Current Geek. Yes. Which is, uh, at this point, they are the headliners for, for the entire 27-hour stream. Uh, next up, we've got the VOD Squad, uh, which is uh, Poodle Puncher and uh, his crew over there. Uh, we've got Captain Fubar that's going to do uh, some sort of a... a variety show he might end up doing like a live quiz kind of thing um he said whatever. he's got stuff like planned like he's he's planning yeah. on doing a show yeah exactly and so. um it's whatever it is it's gonna be awesome it, w- uh, it won't just be him playing getting stoned and playing video games until he passes out yeah uh, captain fubar is super entertaining uh next up we have have a drink show um which uh perhaps amos and i will join um We'll see. We'll see. That that one is still in the works. Uh, we've got Geek.io uh, doing their thing over there. We, uh, the, I'm not going to say what we might do in that in part of their block. Um, we'll leave that for an announcement later on. Mm. Uh, but after that, we've got the movie party, and uh, then we've got game night. Uh, w Scottis One's uh, Jack Jackbox party, uh, which is a, a blast. It's every Friday night. He does a Jackbox party, and it's uh, it's one of the highlights of my week uh, when I'm able to join them. Um, but that that is the that is the lineup. Well, well you, you you missed the last one. Well, uh, yeah, I mean it's our it's our wrap up show. I yeah, said we're but we're gonna, gonna party. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's gonna be freaking <laughs> amazing. Like, it, and, uh, we're looking forward to it. Uh, DC. Str- or no, what is it? Uh, DC wh- Streamathon. Dot org. Dot org. Dot yeah, org. Yeah, and also, um, uh, go ahead and sign up for the uh, or uh, what is it? Follow. It's not subscribe. Follow the Twitch <laughs> channel. DC or uh, <laughs> Twitch TV slash DC Streamathon. Yep. Um, yeah, you don't want to miss any of this. It's going to be freaking great. Ah, <sighs> good times. Um. So, Vanessa, if you're not doing anything on New Year's Eve, feel free to stop on by. Uh, check out the the happenings of what's going on. That is all an effort to make sure that people don't have to spend New Year's Eve alone. So there will be a live chat presence the entire time. And we will be raising money for Children's Miracle Network through extralife.org. So we've awesome. raised several thousand dollars in the last few years. We're hoping with a couple of headliners this year, we might be able to raise $5,000. And um, that'd be awesome just for the, the entire uh, Diamond Club community. So we're looking forward to that. Hey, guys, post it in the group. Oh. Ah, that's, yep. Well, see, that's one of those things where you need to talk to an admin before you do it, because otherwise you can start getting getting harassed. <laughs> and you an admin. That's- I know. It's, <laughs> it's rough. It's rough. It's it's a matriarchy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, did you hear about Finland? No. Finland has a has basically an entire government of women now. Yeah, wow. and young women. Young women. Young women, yeah. Like and some of them are pretty minister. hot, let's just be honest. But the um, new prime minister is like thirty she's like thirty four or something she's, like that. She's the world's youngest head of state. And yep. she's uh, she's a leader of an essentially a fully female leadership in that country. And that is like, I wanted to kind of visit there before. I'm almost ready to move there now. Because <laughs> dudes have done fuck this country up all over the place. I'm ready to go. To, I'm, I'm ready to try something new. 
Right. Now, there is a little uh, lack of ethnic diversity, but uh, as as Patrick Beja says, who currently lives in Finland, um, the government is representative of the demographic of the country. So uh, mm-hmm. at least there's that. But yeah, I'm totally like, if we could just, just get dudes out of politics, they're dumb, they're stupid. And, <laughs> oh, sorry. I, we're trying to avoid politics tonight. And... Uh, <laughs> My bad. I said matriarchy, and there you went. I, I, yeah, you got me all excited. I was like, ah! Um, yeah, there's that. So, Kent, uh, what, what, where are we going from here? I got some things to talk about. If we ain't got nothing else, uh, uh, where we can refer back to Vanessa, because you, you know, she's got probably got tons of shit to talk about. Um, but Kent, I know you, your your head is just an empty can rattling in the wind. So, uh, where oh, you want to go? No, I just want to remind people that we do have some merchandise out there, ritualmisery.com slash swag. Well, yeah. Uh, and if you're if you're a patron, there might be a discount for you. On there that. there uh, should be. I'm still working on that, but there will be. There there will be. I, I told I told my <laughs> wife the other night, I was like, I, I was about to buy you some uh, some Ritual Misery uh, yoga pants. And she was like, oh, come down, <laughs> get them. I was like, oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Nothing turns me on like you wearing my uh, my logo all across your crotch. <laughs> 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 it's actually on the knee, but you know, potato potato. Um, hey, uh, uh, Alanis Morissette is hitting the road this summer in a a a uh, anniversary tour for Jagged Little Pill. She's taking garbage with her. So awesome. <laughs> oh my God. And tickets went on sale today. I was gonna order some. Like I I'm I'm so down for this. The closest show is in uh Seattle. And that's not close enough for me to go to a concert. So So that was so Jagged Little Pill was basically my soundtrack for the year we graduated high school. Uh Jagged Little Pill is as of right now still as well as of the last time I checked, still the best selling album of the nineteen nineties. Mm. Yeah. Cross it, genre. Yeah. It's an I, amazing it, album. It's so fucking good. It's a, it's a little bit embarrassing how many times I listened to that C D all the way through. Just on on oh, repeat. Yeah. Like I've actually listened to all the blank between the end of the album and the hidden song. <laughs> right? Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> like sometimes intentionally even. And yeah. that hidden song at the end is one of my favorites on the album. It's just so mm-hmm. fucking raw, and it's a cappella. Oh my god, that is such a good album. Now I'm not a big fan of her other stuff, like mostly because I haven't listened to it and it didn't speak to me in the way that Jagged Little Pill did. But Jagged Little Pill is fucking. Top ten albums of all time in my mind. Yeah, remember when hidden tracks were a thing? Right. Like, oh how, yeah, it was so cool. First, <laughs> how well, it work? Like you pay ninety nine cents on iTunes for like three minutes of silence and then a song. Like how does that work? I, so uh, Antichrist <laughs> Superstar by Marilyn Manson has ninety nine <laughs> tracks on the CD, and it's only got like twenty tracks of music, and then there's seventy eight tracks of silence and each track is the minimum minimum length, which is like two seconds for a CD. And then it's got a, a 99th track, which is not listed. You know, it's a bonus track. But if you want to get to it, you either have to listen to 70 tracks of two seconds of blankness, which is like two minutes, which isn't that big of a deal. Or you have to sit there and skip it. And in the mid nineties, trying to skip was like tap, <laughs> tap, <Yep>. tap, tap, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tap like, like fuck it oh, I'll just yeah. listen to it Jesus it takes a lot less effort and just as much time <laughs> yeah. yeah oh my gosh yeah I just I wish I wish there's some hidden tracks on like like License to Ill God that'd be awesome oh man I don't want hidden tracks though I just want more music just give me more albums give me more good albums I'm tired That's of right. shitty albums yeah I'm tired of. Uh, I'll, I'll, that, take more, I'll take more Beastie Boys like anytime. Like, give me uh, more. No. <laughs> <laughs> Brass Monkey was like one of my favorite songs. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that. That album is uh, one of the three albums I will just play in its entirety, just anytime. Like, it doesn't matter the mood or anything else. I just play it because <laughs> it's so fucking good. Yeah. Um, yep. That and uh, Mad Season by Matchbox Twenty. And um, 
uh, either one of the um, Metallica albums. What are they? What, which ones are they? I can't remember which ones they are. The fucking the blood and semen ones. Load and reload. Oh, yeah, no. load and reload. There was the one, right? Yeah, load and reload. They uh, they both had cow blood and cow se- or cow blood and his personal semen as part of the. Anyway, uh, okay. it's huh? Like, do we do we believe that that it was really his? I, I it mean, like it's hard goat- enough getting cow blood. Where the fuck are you gonna go to get someone else's semen? I thought it was like goat semen or something. No, like he said straight up, it was his semen with mixed with cow blood. <laughs> Slapped on a slide and then took a picture through the slide. Yeah, yeah. Um, so <laughs> tell us about Bluey. Amos. Bluey is an Australian cartoon available on um, uh, Disney, not Disney Plus. It's like Disney Kids. Um, it's just this stupid little cartoon in this. It's this family of dogs, you know, uh, and they're all they're Australian, and they have the best dad in the world. And sometimes that shit is hilarious. And I was watching it with Autumn the other day, and it's just wholesome TV. But it's it didn't even have innuendo. Like you know, a lot of cartoons will have innuendo, so the adults can like it too. It doesn't even have any innuendo. It's just genuinely cute and funny. And I would recommend it to anybody with kids. Watch Bluey, B L U E Y. It's it's just fucking adorable. It's just good TV. And Australian accents are always a plus to me, so. <sighs> yeah. Uh, Kent, you told me to watch something. I never watched it, so I'm going to tell you to watch something so you can never watch it, because you, you still owe me a listening through of Hamilton, so fuck off. Um, that's true. Um, <laughs> another thing we do toward wait, the end of the Wait, show. wait, 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 wait. Vanessa, have you listened to the Hamilton soundtrack? No, I have not. So it's now both of our assignments to listen to Hamilton. Um, all right. Oh, my God. Real quick. Uh, toward the end of the show, we have of late been uh, talking about a tweet that said something to us that yep. uh, we want to give a shout out to. I have barely touched social media this week. I do not have a tweet or anything else to share in this segment. But Amos, you do. Yes, of course I do. Because <laughs> Twitter is, of course, my social media of preference. Um, this is someone, I don't even follow this person. They just had something that I found on my feed that I thought was great. Barnacles Nerdgasm says, uh, and that's Barnacles Nerdgasm. No, Barnacles on uh, Twitter. It's okay if you disagree with me on anything. Honestly, it's not worth getting worked up over. I don't like Trump. I'm not religious. I'm straight. I own firearms. I have conservative and liberal views. Science motivates me. I love nice people. We good? With a little winky emoji. Yeah. It just, it's, (laughs) it's just one of those tweets. It's like, yeah, this like, why are we arguing over shit like this? This is great. Yeah, exactly. Like, like everybody wants to pick team red or team blue. Like, fuck that shit. Yeah. Like, uh, just, just be you believe what you believe and like love people. Purple has always been my favorite color. Yeah, exactly. Let's let's just purple up and then, and focus on the things that we agree on, not the shit that we disagree on. Right. Um, Let's just all be friends. Uh, But you can find me and more of my takes and retweets on Twitter at Ethan Kane, E T H A N C A I N E. And you can find me on Twitter at RM underscore Del Noche. Vanessa, are you on Twitter? (laughs) <laughs> um, I have an account <laughs> well, Twitter just announced they're going to start deleting accounts that are six months old and haven't Whoop. been used well I mean I get on there every once in a while when Ashton complains that I haven't liked any of his tweets <laughs> nice, nice nice facts <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing because that's exactly why my wife is on Twitter <laughs> Cause like she, cause she she'd she'd be she'd always complain that I was never on Facebook and I I would complain well you're never on Twitter so we just have our different realms yeah that's how it is <laughs> so she got a Twitter account just to be able to see if I post any shit about her now I tag her in all kinds of randomness <laughs> so uh, nice. did you want to Vanessa did you want to promote any social media or any other web presence uh, that people can find you at uh, I mean should, I'm pretty much we- just at. Facebook. Uh, I spend a lot of time in the group. It is ridiculous means memes. It's spelled R I D I C K U L O U S. Memes Inc. Uh, 
Um, they're on Facebook. We also have a political group, which is Left versus Right Memes Edition. Um, wait, wait, and... wait, 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 wait. Hold. <laughs> is Hold. this the antithesis, antithesis of uh, what we were just discussing? I, like, I thought which is Kent why was... I don't want to talk about I, it. <laughs> I, I think I think Kent was burying the lead earlier. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, no, you're burying the lead now. You have a political page you, that you run as well. Like, give yes. me those deets. <laughs> yeah, so, I didn't even know about this thing. I did. I didn't want the politics and ridiculous memes because people do get very emotional. Yeah, yeah. Um, and attached to that sort of thing. And I wanted ridiculous memes to be a fun kind of carefree. She place. wanted. She wanted to preserve the purity of the sexual memes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so yeah. then I created left versus right uh, memes edition for the political stuff for because I had several members that were consistently posting political stuff. It's mm. very small. I really haven't promoted that group because they tend to use it more for discussion type deal. Mm. So. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. That- um, if you want to follow the show, it's at Ritual Misery on Twitter. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can also join our conversation in Discord. Uh, that's bit.ly slash RMP Discord. Now, the RMP is is capital on that, right? No, it's no? not. It's, it's all it's all it, lowercase. It's all lowercase, so it's easy. So if they haven't done it yet, they haven't, if they haven't typed in bit.ly forward slash RMP, rmp discord then it's kind of their own fault yeah yeah check us out over there they're like like just th- throw a grenade into the into the chat there just like <laughs> hey did you guys think of this and then like a conversation will start around that i promise you uh, uh and I, I will say that the rmp discord is passionately inactive <laughs> well, well okay like not so a lot happens there but when it does not- it goes hard yeah, I was gonna say it's not consistently active, but when it's active, it's active. So, <laughs> like, throw. That's why I said throw a grenade into the chat, bit.ly slash RMP Discord, and uh, see what happens. It's like the best side chick ever. Uh, you can find all these links and more ways to support the show and give feedback at our website, ritualmisery.com. We are live every Thursday at 7 p.m. Pacific on DiamondClub.tv and Twitch.tv slash Ritual Misery. Except next Thursday. It'll be at 10 Pacific. Uh, and thank you so much to Kevin McLeod for allowing us to use your music. Thank you for listening. For Kent, for Vanessa, for me, for you, and for everybody. This has been your Ritual Misery Podcast. See ya. I still haven't fixed the sounder, so we're not going to hear it, but everybody knows it by now, so screw it. And shit, where is it at? There it is. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. Why you got to do the thing, dude? Why, like, why you got to talk over me? Yeah, my bad. I didn't know if you were actually going to push the button. You knew I was going to fuck it up and play it anyway. Come on now. (laughs) You should know this.